So this is pretty fascinating. You usually hear about these uh, ghost cities in China. What those are is it's basically a ch when China builds a ton of houses. I mean, there's like two billion houses for like a billion Chinese yeah. people, right? There's too many houses. They don't finish them. People don't get their house. Property companies collapse. Huge dent in the economy. There's all kinds of crazy stuff yeah. that happens. And we yeah. saw that unfold in China. In yeah, person. we've got we'll footage. Show we'll show you later. But what we didn't expect was uh, this insanity to start spreading abroad and that's yeah. exactly what happened there's this place called forest city and this was made by country garden which, which is, is a huge real yeah estate isn't company just in China. defaulted right mm. Mm. let's have a look okay this is what forest city was supposed to look like and it was supposed to be in malaysia they okay basically so. we're going to build this beautiful eco city uh on these reclaimed islands in malaysia mm. and the idea was and this tell me this isn't so pig-headed mm -hmm. was that they were going to sell these apartments to Chinese people to go to Malaysia to buy them yeah. and then rent them out to Malaysian people Okay, in yeah. their own country. Yeah. <laughs> right? So Malaysia's always like, what? Yeah, <laughs> right? no, that's kind of cheeky, isn't it? The most important feature of this was that it was like a $100 billion project, right? Mm -hmm. The most important feature of this is it was part of the Belt and Road. It is a part of the Belt and Road Initiative. Mm. This wasn't just some sort of random investment opportunity. This was part of Malaysia and China's Belt and Road Initiative. I got you. Uh, so this is what it was supposed to look like. I've, I've seen, uh, you know, like I see this as that forest city. They got the, the stupid foliage yeah. growing on the buildings for like a green thing. Remember, they did that in China as well, and it completely sucked. It was yes. terrible. It was a disaster. And anyone with common sense would know this is a disaster. Because as soon as you've got a growing plant, you know, on yeah. your balcony or something, it's going to get out of control. Yeah. Insects are going to nest in there, you know. The Probably like Tong Wu, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, nests. yeah, worm nests. So you're going to get mosquito problems and all sorts of weird insects and yeah. stuff are going to be there. The plants are going to overgrow. Yeah. The root structures are going to start cracking the concrete and doing all yep. sorts of stuff. Now, on top of that, like the water, your water, it gets stagnant water. It'll stink. You get like rotten mulch it's stuff bad. going it's on. Bad. And it's just such a stupid idea. It can be done, but in China, it's never done like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm just saying like when you're like, we're going to like have the balconies overflowing with plants and stuff like this. It's dumb. You know, it, it's always going to end up a kind of a disaster. Yeah. Anyway. So this is CG representation. This is not real. Oh, yeah, of course this not. This is 3D footage of what it was supposed to look like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, this guy named Nick Marsh for the BBC went there to have a look, and this is what it looked like. This is what it looks like yes. now. When was it supposed to be completed, or when um, was it completed? It's not done yet, mm -hmm. but it's done enough for people to have already been buying stuff to, to, mm -hmm. to do it. It started in 2016. 2016, so it's been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, and people have, you can live there. Right, yeah. but almost no one does. Yeah, why would you? For a hundred out of a hundred percent capacity, one percent is filled. Yeah, okay. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so they build these like fake malls and stuff. Yeah, we've shown this in our videos where we've gone to these places in China that are the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's, thing is, uh... it's shockingly huge. I mean, look at this. This yeah. is what it was supposed to look like, right? Yeah. This is from the country garden thing. I love, by the way. Yeah. How often did you see this, where all the people of of different uh, ethnic origins are just. Uh, photoshopped in yeah, here yeah you got that in china it's like all in, the time it's all these like white and black people and indians and stuff all over this like scape of this third tier city like development where are these people coming from they're not moving to this no. tiny backwater city in china no, my my favorite one was <clears throat> i filmed it it's in one of my videos way back many years yeah. ago but they had one of these real estate development things and they have this concept art <clears throat> it was like a photo concept art and in the concept art, they had a car driving the wrong way on the highway, coming off the off ramp to like crash into the car. I was like, <laughs> I yeah, let's that. remember yeah, that. Yeah. It's like, it was so stupid. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? <clears throat> so look yeah. at this. This is the welcome sign leading to Forest City. Right. You can just look at this. It's, it's shockingly empty. Right? Yeah. And it's overgrown already. It's gross. It's a disaster. Yeah. And again, this isn't a foreign country. This isn't in China. Yeah. This is in Malaysia. And a lot of people are excited about this. Sure. Uh, I want to read this Hashtag quote. Hashtag sky don't lie, man. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Malaysia, uh, stop letting China do this construction. It's ruining your, your environment. Uh, this mm -hmm. guy here, N Nazmi, uh, he said, I managed to escape this place. <laughs> okay. Uh, he said uh, after six months, he had had enough. He didn't want to continue uh, living in what he called a ghost town. I didn't care about my deposit. I didn't care about the money. I just had to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, we had arranged to meet some... Uh, in the same tower block okay. that he used to live in. This is uh, Nick that yeah. went to go meet him. Yeah. And uh, he's 
they went to go meet back there and he says i'm getting goosebumps just being back it's lonely around here it's just you and your thoughts <laughs> it's it is look yeah. oh it's what has he got to say this is Let's nick see. nick from the bbc yeah. this is forest city it's a bit dark i think someone's forgotten to turn the lights on it's hard to believe that anyone actually lives here oh here they are even in mid-afternoon, Forest City feels more like a haunted house than a happy home. So look at this. Yeah. He built this. And when I said this is a massive project, I'm not talking about a couple apartment blocks. Yeah. This was a city. Yeah. Forest they, City. They do that always. We've yeah. been to those ghost cities like, um, you know, with the big ring and stuff. And they build art museums yeah. and shopping yeah. malls. But it's all just an empty shell. Yeah. There's nothing in them. Yes. And it is, it's funny how similar this is to what we saw in yeah. China. And yeah. But this is it's so weird to see in a foreign country, like a different country than China. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you can see this mall. Yeah. It's still got all the Chinese characters and everything. Yeah. Because this was originally, remember, for Chinese people to invest in. Yes. Abroad. Yeah. Right. Look at this. I mean, it's just absolutely desolate, mm. right? A hundred billion dollar project, This place project, was supposed right? to be a restaurant. Yeah. I think behind me, judging by the looks of things, it was supposed to be the kitchen. Now, Country Garden's slogan for this whole place was a prime vision for future cities. But you just take a look around. It doesn't really seem that way. Good old British humor. I like it though. I think he did a great job with this report. This, um, so just pause it real quick. Okay. Um, so Country Garden spent a hundred billion dollars on this mega project, right? Right. You guys have to understand what a hundred billion dollars is. Hundred I mean, billion, not million. Uh, no, this is billion. this is more than some country's entire economic output for their whole country. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and that was under the Belt and Road Initiative that started in 2016, right? But eight years on, mm -hmm. it's still a barren reminder that you do not need to be in China to feel the effects of the property crisis because Country Garden owes $200 billion now. Mm. And do you know what Country Garden said in, in reply to this? What? <laughs> it's optimistic mm -hmm. that the full plan will be completed. They, um, the, the, uh, in the showroom, right? There's like yeah. a big model city of this place, right? right. right? <clears throat> the sign above them when they were visiting said, Forest City, where happiness never ends. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's like super dystopian. Yeah. And I guess there was one part um, where there was uh, uh, like a Small World After All or one of those, you know, oh, yeah. one of those songs that was just playing over, yeah, like over and over, over. again yeah. on loop while it was all dark. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. It's pretty messed up. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, I found it. It says, in a purpose-built shopping mall, many other shops and restaurants are closed. Some units were just vacant construction sites. In a surreal touch, there's an empty children's train doing endless laps around the mall while playing head, shoulders, knees, and toes in Chinese on loop. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. That's Isn't really that awful. Scary? Yeah, it's scary. I can see that. Um, one of the things, the biggest draws is that because it's on this island, it's a duty-free area. Mm. So on the beach, what you'll find is just massive piles, apparently, of alcohol bottles, like like empty ones, yeah, and pockets of like local drinkers. That which is pretty much all the human activity is just drunk people on the beach making piles of booze. Okay, <laughs> awesome, <laughs> wonderful um, paradise you found. Yes, there. yes. Mm. Um, there is another thing. It says if you go to uh, a woman said if you go to Google uh, for a city, this is not what you're going to see here today. I feel sorry for the people who actually invested and bought a place here. Mm. It should be the project that was promised to the people, but that's not what it is. It's very misleading. The current for a city is a ghost town. There are no people at all. It's far from the city and it has incomplete living facilities and is difficult to move without a car. So, you know, a lot of times what we wanted to point out is that what we notice is they'll pick the most random places to put these things. Yeah. A like hundred billion dollar mega project should be something that's well thought out, right? Yeah. Here's, but it's here's so an example far... of like the, the faded signs. Yeah. Of the, uh, they put up these fake shops, by the way. This isn't a real thing. No. They put up fake shops to join investors and then they just leave it till it gets sun faded away. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, you were saying? Uh, I was just saying that it was so far away from any development. The problem yeah. is they think they can just make development by making the mall and making the train yeah. and making the, you know. They I mean? think that they can build like a, a 15 minute city or yes. whatever or a self sustained little yeah. thing so that people don't have to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And in China, a lot of people live that way. You know, a lot of yeah. people do live like only in their one neighborhood. Yeah. They go to work in that area. They go to their building. They the don't problem is go those anywhere. those are usually like organic, right? Yeah. They they came about over centuries. Yes, yeah, like, and like in the big cities. Were there. Yeah. And it, they're, they're, those neighborhoods are in the big cities. Yeah. They're not like far flung. No, 
But every yeah. time we went to a ghost town, they are far flung. Yes. And they're meant to house millions of people. And no one goes there because yep. it's not connected to anything, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, they think if you build it, they will come. But that's yes. not true. Yes. You know. Um, other comments said, asked if they could get a refund on the property, with one saying, the pro- price on my unit has dropped so much, I'm speechless. And again, these are supposed to be investments, but then they tank. But this is the Chinese real estate investment model is to speculate. And I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of glad people are losing their money on this because this has to stop. This is what's going to kill. It's going to make a massive dent, it already is, in the world's economy. And it's going to hurt Chinese people the most. Yeah. And the more people are encouraged to speculate and like, oh, here's a new investment. Let's buy a property. We'll leave it open. Yes. And we're not going to do anything to it. We'll leave a concrete shell because that's what they do. And then like two, three years down the line, we can sell it for a massive profit. And so yeah. that's why people buy like four or five houses, you know, yeah. and they take loans and they borrow yeah. from family to buy these because it's a sure thing. Yes. So, oh, there's a new investment opportunity here. Let's buy it. Yeah. Stupid. Country Garden insists the current situation in the Chinese property market is just noise. Oh, <laughs> And really? its Malaysian operation runs its business as usual. Of course, <laughs> is it? What's, 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 what I love this. I love okay. this. All right. What is this? I'll get us out of here supposed to house a million people right now it's one percent occupied like so many chinese property developments this place seems to be going nowhere <laughs> nick marsh bbc news johor you know what's great you just go to the next picture okay Play. that's pretty funny that is so poetic that's in the forest city yeah, yeah. They built a stairway to nothing. And that is, it's like they played a joke on themselves. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You set up reporters to be able to have the most poignant story of all time. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's supposed to go to like a big deck or something on the beach. There, yeah, but I you mean, know? you built it to nowhere and it's just yeah. so emblematic of what's happening. Yeah. Well, I mean, we saw that all over China. That's the thing. It's we did. nothing new. Now, before we get to our some of our footage, um, mm-hmm. Uh, this Mr. Nazmi, that guy that was like said it was so eerie and he's so glad he's not there. Yeah. He said, I'll definitely choose more carefully next time. Uh, but I'm happy I've left this place. Now I've got my life back. It's and that's how guy. isolated this was, though. Yeah. Like it's so isolated from everything. You don't have any, there's nothing there. Yeah. And also, you know, when, um, when you've got Chinese investors investing in these places, they're used to in the Chinese cities and uh, the the convenience of public transport yeah. and being able to not own a car. Like that was a big uh, complaint that you need yes. a car to get around and to get anywhere. And that's a big problem because, you know, not everybody drives in China. You know? No, no. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so we have extensive experience around China with the ghost cities. Yeah, um, this is a huge all one. Over. Yeah. This one, same situation. They built this massive place, you know, huge. And um, it had this, this in in Liaoning, and they had this huge, well, this is in Hunan, but they had that huge ring of life. And that's the best example. Yeah. Because it was a whole city, Mm. and there was no one living there. This, by the way, in in Huaihua, when I went here. Yeah. This whole area was supposed to house millions, and there wasn't one. They didn't never finish it. Yeah. They didn't finish it. Yeah. So we found one there. We found them all over the place. Yeah, there was one Qingdao. in Qingdao we went through. It was just Yeah, you can see the villas in the background yep. that they built and never finished. And it was like a whole city of this stuff we were riding through. See, it's overgrown. And Chinese people were leading us to these places, yeah. being like, this. they never finished this. Yeah, they exactly. call them ghost, ghost cities. Yep. Um, it's nuts. And these are just all over the country. And you can imagine, remember what I said, that statistic, that the two billion houses for one billion customers or whatever is yeah. supposed to be very conservative, by the way. There's more than that. Oh, absolutely. There's so, more. But yet, this a lot- This is Huizhou. We used to go here all the time. They had multiple ghost cities around yes. Huizhou. Most people mm-hmm. in China, or a lot of new home buyers, prospective home buyers, can't buy a house. Yeah. But there's a surplus of housing yes, exactly. that's empty forever. It's stupid. It's just a stupid situation. It's greed. These buildings the also max. fall down. Yeah. Like a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's Ordos in, in Mongolia. Yeah. Spent a lot of time there. This is uh, the first time I saw, by the way, painting the grass green. Oh, right. Yeah. I took these pictures when I went up there and this must have been 2007. I lived there. Thereabouts. Yeah, I know you did. That, and... So. Uh, this yeah. whole area is so dystopian because they have this core that have, has these famous architects that build these buildings, yeah. but then everything else is just like empty. That, isn't that you like, riding through yes. there? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a really weird thing. You know, Ordos is used as an example of it coming right, though, because people moved in there. Yeah, like in Kangba Shi. Yes. But the whole area is emblematic of ghost towns. Yeah, exactly. Like, people don't the, talk about that. The part. old, the sprawl on the outside, they're not yeah. talking about. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
I heard uh, there was some famous streamer that said they're investing in like the future housing for their citizens. Like, bro, these fall down and no one moves in. No one, no one can. <laughs> it's, it's, it, there are too, it there are too many buildings and too many apartments for the population. It's yeah. impossible. And it's just millionaires speculating on this. Yeah. What are you talking if about? If every Chinese person moved into an apartment by themselves, there still would be a massive excess. Yes. So oh, it's dumb. Not, no, they're not yeah. free. Exactly. It's just yeah. dumb. Yeah. So. You can see that we visited a lot of those. Obviously, yeah. if you followed our personal channels, for sure. instance, you would have uh, known a lot about this before because we've covered this on ADV China. I've covered it on my channel. You've yeah. covered it on your channel. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those big phenomenons in China. And seeing it go abroad like this is you know, a little bit worrying because it's just going to plunge whichever local economy they attach themselves to into debt. Looking at this, uh, all this ghost town footage behind me just reminds me of the... <laughs> absolute kind of dystopian situation yes. that China's in right now. You gotta understand! Yes. Really, uh, when you see it firsthand, mm. and when, when you've made Chinese friends and you have Chinese family, and you see this mad, absolute madness, this mad scramble yeah. to buy these apartments, you know, before yes. they're finished, yes. and with the idea of not ever living in them. Yeah. And people are literally climbing over each other to go and buy an apartment. You know when they have those... They open like a have an apartment selling day or whatever, and they have like an event, right? Yeah, with the and, champagne. Yeah, and and yeah. people rush in there and yes. they buy without even choosing which unit. They yes. just take whatever they can get. Yes, they don't like oh I want one facing that side or I want this one that's this size or whatever. They're just like grab, like grab haggery, but with apartments, and it's very expensive. Mm. When you buy an apartment in China, you're talking hundreds of thousands of US dollars for the bare minimum. Stuff. Yes. Okay, and over a million dollars for anything even slightly okay in a in a decent city. Yeah. It's stupid money that you're paying for something that you don't own. It's exorbitant. It's yeah. not worth that. And then when you see the quality of what you're buying, it's just, it's madness. Yes. It really beggars belief. It's nuts. Yeah. Anyway, we saw it across the entire country, like it's, to a yeah. shocking extent. In fact, when we were up in Liaoning, uh, we got chased out by the PLA. Mm hmm they finally caught on. They actually had soldiers stationed there just in case people like journalists or something would Yeah, because they saw us filming and then they started We weren't to journalists. Us, we were yeah. just running GoPros being like, holy crap, look at this place. And they well, were like... Phew. Remember, we had our film crew on, and we, we sat down to film something and that's when they turned up and they were wearing PLA yeah. uniforms. Yeah. And they went to go and question the Chinese driver of our yeah, follow that's car. Right. That's right. And we just effed off out of there. Yeah. I see a couple buildings down there. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, here's some housing real estate a prices. There's yeah. a couple posters. There. Yeah, I see a couple posters. I took this particular picture of these posters uh, outside my apartment block probably in about 2015, I'd say, mm. or 16. And if you look at the prices mm. there, it's just insane. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, for square meterage or for, yeah. for apartments there. It's yeah. just... Uh, I, I can't explain it even uh, any more than we really have. It's just mm. a ridiculous bubble, and uh, it's absolutely... Uh, kind I mean, of you're talking like that for a hundred square meter apartment down there. You were talking like eight hundred thousand U.S. dollars yes. in China, yes. in a poor country, and that was not even a great <laughs> building. It's no. not like amazing, and also no. don't forget that was you know like twenty twenty fifteen sixteen yeah, yeah. probably twenty thirteen mm. or fourteen actually. Yeah. Now that I think about when I filmed that, yeah. and it's just gotten higher and higher and higher and higher. Yeah, I was just appalled when I found out how much money people were spending on apartments there. Remember. remember the average person in, or the average uh, per person GDP in in America is like eighty grand a year. In China, it's like sixteen, and that's skewed because of all the rich people, right? These mm -hmm. apartments are costing a million dollars in some of these places for an absolute hole of a yeah, concrete a box of in the middle of uh, a busy crap area. Yeah, you and you I mean? uh, you don't own it; it's a lease no. for seventy years. It's insane. Uh, so I I would I was thinking like, did you add two zeros to that number? You know. When I ask, like, how much do yeah. you pay for this? Yeah. And people put themselves in debt. I don't think people realize this. It's, China's got this fantastic um, culture of saving, mm. okay? And they're very good at saving, uh, mm. Chinese people in general. But unfortunately, this property marketing has wiped out all of those savings. Yeah. Because, like, everybody <coughs> needs to own a house, right? Yeah. If you're a man, you need one if you're going to get married and all that nonsense. So you, you go out and you borrow money from all of your relatives. Now, all of your relatives... No matter what their job, they're good at saving. Yeah. So they'll have a decent amount of savings. Yeah. But you'll wipe out like five of your relatives' savings or whatever yes. to buy this one apartment just to put down the deposit. Yes. This and people are in debt to each other. They're in debt to banks. It's a horrible situation. 
you know, um, kind of makes me feel really ill. Somebody said um, the 80 grand in America is equally skewed. I don't want to take the bait here. And I maybe you're yeah. being legitimate, but you can't say equally skewed because it's not. It's not equally skewed. If you're using the National Bureau of Statistics in China, maybe you could say that. Yeah. But remember what we talked about, and I just want to hark back to our last video. The poverty line in America is $12,000 per year. The poverty, the absolute poverty line in China was 200 something, $280 per year. Yeah, two hundred. It's not the same. It's not this equivalent. It's not the same skew. Yeah. So I, I hate when people make those equivalents is to say, yes, America has massive income inequality. Yes, we China know that. has way worse income inequality. You can't ever pair those together. No, you can't. Um, when you see how people actually do live. Hugh Bar Barlun, Aisashi, Pro Boy, Skewrons. Ah, Skewron. Cartello. Cartello. <laughs> Avidas. Pumba. Die Dads. Dochi and Gabanov. Absids, dude. Absids. <laughs> Do what like does Birkenstick? Birkenstick. <laughs> Birkenstick. <laughs> That's an X boy. boy. Abercrombie and Titch. Torn <laughs> Framers, dude. Yeah, Robots in Disquease, dude. Meats by Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Ball star. But it's kind of like an overweight Jordan or yeah. something. Look, it's a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, it's it like, is. who's, like, why? <laughs> why? It's like, come on, make up your own stuff for once, you know?